Today, I am inviting you to join a workout called Healthy Spine. If you are not very active throughout a day or have an office job, I highly recommend you giving it a try. It's a 15-minute workout that should help improve posture, boost blood circulation, and activate spine and glute muscles, which support our healthy backbone. Let's get started. I suggest that we start from a short stretching routine. So let's slowly inhale some air and round our spine while exhaling along with putting our arms in front of the chest. Let's repeat a few more times. Inhale and lower the shoulder blades. Relax your neck. Look down, exhale. Look straight ahead, good. And a few more. Now let's spread your arms, stretch up, bring your palms together and lower them to the chest. Make a lock in front of the chest and start rotating it in one direction. Now change the direction of the rotation to the opposite one. Stretch your arms. Start lifting and putting down your fingers. Now stop and start clenching your fists. You may speed up a little bit. Now place your arms in front of yourself, clench your fists again, and repeat the same above your head, and then a couple more times behind yourself. And now shake and relax your arms. Take a comfortable position. Make your spine straight. Lower the shoulder blades. And let's start the main part of our routine. Exhale and stretch to the side. The elbow of the lower hand should aim touching the floor. While our thighs stay sighted, both thighs should stay on the floor while your upper arm should stretch to the side and go low as much as possible. If your elbow can touch the floor, this should be perfect. Try going a bit lower with every repetition. Imagine that you are a clock arrow. Now stay at your lowest position. Exhale and bend your upper arm towards the floor. Inhale and then return to the upper position. Both thighs should stick to the floor. Look down. Look up. Exhale, go down, inhale, go up. The arm should not cover your face at the most upper position. Now stay low. Let's work with our spine. If you cannot touch floor with your elbows, don't worry. Stay on the floor with your hands and work with your spine. Look down, relax your neck. Pull your chest towards the knees. Inhale and round your spine. Exhale, make it straight. Again, both thighs should stick to the floor. Perfect. Now let's repeat everything but for the other side. Exhale, bend over. Inhale, return to the upper position, holding your spine straight. Keep moving to the side just as a clock arrow. Keep the rhythm. 
Your upper arm elbow should reach approximately the level of your ear. Lower arm elbow should be directed towards the floor. Stay in the lowest position, look up, exhale and place your upper arm on the floor. If you cannot reach the floor from the first attempt, it's absolutely fine. Even if you cannot reach the floor after many attempts, it's also fine. Relax your spine and just try taking the lowest position possible. Pull your chest to the knee, relax your neck. When low, do not throw back your head. Stay at the lowest position. Keep your palms on the floor and let's work with our spine. Inhale, round your back. Exhale, pull your chest downwards. Just wanted to remind to keep your thighs on the floor. Don't forget to breathe along with your moves. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Don't hold your breath. We are done. Now get up and sit straight. Inhale, stretch your arms and put them behind your head. You can lock your hands behind your head or just leave them on the head. Now exhale and get into lower position with the rounded back. Don't push hard on your head, but rather try to pull your elbows to the knees. Exhale and take the original position, keeping your shoulder blades down. Exhale. Relax and put your elbows down. Inhale, get up and put your shoulder blades down. Stay at the lowest position for about 20 seconds. Stretch your arms forward. In 20 seconds, we will exchange the position of our legs. If your left one was on top, Change it with the right one, and vice versa. Now get to the sitting position and change the position of your legs. Stretch your arms in front of you. Perfect. Now get up, keeping your back a bit bent. Put your feet in front of you moderately wide. Exhale and bend your knees to one side, then to the other one. Try touching the floor with both knees. Your arms are behind your back. They help you to stay straight not and not fall behind. Look ahead. Exhale, put your knees down. Then start rolling them to the other side, inhaling when they are centered, and bend to the other side. Okay, we are done. Now place your feet in a zigzag pattern in front of you. One leg should be looking backwards and have about 90 degrees and a knee, another stays in front of you. Now lift the back leg up 
to about 90 degrees above the floor while exhaling. Then inhale and put it down. Assist yourself with your arms. Keep your spine straight. If you feel uncomfortable and feel that you are falling back, you can use yoga bricks or a little soft ball under your second thigh to keep it up. Now change your legs and repeat everything but with the other side. Exhale, put your knee down. Inhale, put it up. Okay, we are done. Get back to the central position, sitting and change your pose to the previous one, feet in a zigzag pattern in front of you. Now let's start almost same as before, but stretch the upper leg straight to the side and only then bend it and put your knee down. Let's start the next exercise in the same position. Stretching your arms in front of you. Exhale and get up on your knees, clenching your buttocks a bit, but keeping the spine straight. Then get down and inhale. Get down slowly. Do not fall on your thigh. Try stretch your thighs back, just as you would sit on the chair, slowly putting them on the floor. Keep holding your arms in front of you parallel to the floor. We are done. Get back to the central position. Sitting and change your pose to the previous one, but alternating your legs feet in a zigzag pattern in front of you. Do everything as before, but to the different side. Get ready to the next exercise, which we already know. Exhale and get up on your knees, clenching your buttocks a bit, but keeping the spine straight. Then get down and inhale. Remember to get down slowly. Do not fall on your thighs. If your shoulders and arms tend to look down, get them back to the position parallel to the floor. And now our next and last pose is alternating cat pose and a cow pose. To come into cat pose, start on your hands and knees, 
all fours with knees under the hips and wrists under the shoulders or slightly forward. Spread your fingers and press through the base of the fingers and the fingertips as you exhale. Pull your belly in, lift your side waists. Ground your spine and release your head towards the floor into cat position. Actively press the floor away and feel the stretch in the back body. Inhale and come back into your neutral starting position. Cat pose is then followed by cow pose to warm up the spine with a few rounds of cat cow poses. Now lay down on your knees, stretch your thighs back to your feet, relax your spine. Now get up and we are done. Thank you for being with me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and explore my other workouts.